Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy Brave X-Rays. Today will be a 6 star tier list for Final Fantasy Brave X-Rays. This is our meta today but it will change soon. So today, I bring you the best tier list in the game. Where does it come from and who make it? Of course, this man right here, Mr. Mimi Lord. Many people know him already. Where does it come from? It's come from bravexvs.com. You can check this out. Look at his post, guy. Mimi Lord, unit ranking 400k, 477, 033. This is almost half a million view, guys. I believe he have the most perfect, perfect ranking everywhere around the world everyone agree with him i agree with him almost 99 percent of it so anyway let's move on let's have a look who is the best in all category guys he said that um how his work is for p2p play to pay i believe or play to win basically he calculate everything is the end game build no shiki stuff no like no like champion bell no like no chips up basically all the top tier gmr put it in calculate it and do who do the best damage just one person only it's not everything it's based on one person only i believe if i'm wrong i apologize okay um, because i don't make them but most of them i agree so first thing first let's have a look at physical damage for the first place in Pisco Shane is Tidas. Everyone know that Tidas can do quick dice after his enchant. He, he can use seven time multiply on quick quick hit or something. He is really really powerful, guys. He got everything. He got impen. He got buff. He got chaining. He got finisher move. Even seven star, he really really strong. Okay. And next is Lila. Lila can triple cast. <clears throat> That's why she good. She can triple cast, she can be a hybrid or magic damage. Um, it's based on how you build her, it's actually really, really strong for six star. So I heard that um, at seven star, she kind of off the chart a bit because everyone can do cast ability or triple cast ability. So she is not that strong at seven star, but today, 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 she is still really strong for like the next three months six months i have no idea man that that will all be always be someone better than than this okay because we will have more seven star prunto is the same with lila she, he can use double cast and stuff 2b wow 2b is in number four most of this they can use fixed die especially 2b 2b is strong but she is limited edition no one can get her now um if you have her a2 and 2b i believe they are in still in the top top chart but but this three beat a2 and 2b but they're still really really good guys next is number five is suffer ross suffer ross he is we just got him he's badass boss he's really strong he he can chain with everyone he have like three chain ability or something and one finishing move he can impend he can buff he can add um Weapon to dark elements. He have everything in the books, guys. That's why he's really strong at six star. Not just six star, seven star from. He's still the boss. Okay, he really, really strong. I saw Felix do billion damage on him, but the rest I didn't see. It. Okay, next is a uh, finisher. Okay, on the finisher, I have to disagree on this a little bit because at first. I look at this, it's Ang is number one. We all know Ang is number one in AOE finisher. He can finish her with fire, attack, and impen as well. That's why he's so strong if he come alone. Alright? For me, Eileen is also number one. So this is not wrong, actually, it's correct, but Eileen is number one in single target. Ang is number one in AOE damage. Okay, they both are really strong because they both can use fixed dice, but Ang is easier to use, more simple. Eileen need a lot of setup. X Eileen, I mean, a lot of setup. You have to have like weapon um, enchant on her. Nicole will fix those, impen and stuff. She is Nicole, Illusion Nicole, best, best friend. Not Illusion Nicole, the new one that we will get CG Nicole, alright? Cupid Automeras is really strong as well and he the only the four star that in the top five list in finisher on Pisco Damage Department. Um, I tried to build him but I have Jake. I feel Jake is more stronger than him. People will disagree with me, but that's everyone have different of 
opinion. Okay, for ex- for me, all right. Don't don't get go crazy, all right, guys. Everyone have different of perception on how to build your character. Some people love dark night seasons. Some people love nocturnes. Some people love tidus. Everyone have their fan, but this based on the calculation. Everyone have different use, different view. Okay, some have the way to use it. Some don't. <laughs> Just basically, everyone have different point of views. All right. So yeah, this is one point of view only. Okay. Uh, next is Dark Knight c s o is the same thing. You know, everyone who have who did the top, 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 top damage dealer, they have like many things in 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 their ability set. Dark Knight c s o can do dark in pain 100 and hit really hard. If the boss doesn't have dark resistance, he he is really really strong after e n c h a n t Really strong guy. And for s e m i s t a r not so good. Okay. Uh, Noxus, <coughs> Noxus is all round. You know he he can do everything. He can be damager, damage dealer, um, chainer, buffer. Um, I don't know, man. Um, stop collector. I don't know. He have everything in the books. He can jump as well. He can heal himself. He have everything in the books, guys. So basically, his um the the enchant ability is one of what is it called, man? I forgot the name. But he do a lot of damage, like. 12 times, 16 times multiply. So basically, I agree with all this list except X Alien should be number one as well as u n g um, Like I said, if he split it out to AOE and single target, Alien should be number one here and u n g should be number one. So I agree with this, 99%. All right. Next is magic damage. Magic damage. I believe it. I believably. Lila, number one. Oh yeah, triple cast, triple cast. All way win. This have double cast, so Lila is still number one. Magic Shainer, Hyrule Magic Shainer for Lila. I don't think she can AOE chain. I'm not sure. All right. Um, next is Christine. Christine is a limited edition, and she is like she got like all kind of support as well. So it's really really nice. Okay. And next is t e n t e r a t e n s t e r a Ah oh, man, t e n t e r a is good in all round. She she good today until like to tomorrow. <laughs> Basically, t e n t e r a can at six star. She can do like double cast, chaos wave without any MP. She's so good, man. She she she's the best. Like I said, pink c a m e b a c in the game, even seven star. She can quad cast and she destroy everything in the game on the first turn. So if you have four t e n t e r a don't super t i e m a r them. Just just have two seven star. And you will see the power of TT, man. All right, guys. Next is Barbarian. I think in in global she is my favorite, and Lulu as well. Um, this 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 tool is quite difficult to use because you need combo, right? This one is easy. You need combo as well. You need to cast one thing first in order to three turn uh, triple cast. All right. Same thing. This three, but they do massive damage on the next turn. All right. Um, Barbarian. Barbarian is all round good with Lulu. The same thing. Barbarian can do tornado. That is s i l s t a r spell, and then she, she can do like um, arrow jar or something. That is stack. So basically, she can chain with tornado and finish with um, arrow jar. Right, so that's why she do same with Lulu. She can do flow and then thunder jump. All right, as a combo. But I feel they both are really, really strong and really simple to use. You can do it like, from the first turn. You can, yeah, you know, stack up all the jar damage and then you can finish the boss easily. If you see Marlboro, this t o destroy Marlboro easily. So this, this, all of this destroy Marlboro easily. All right. Okay, next is a magic finisher. Okay, I disagree with with this again. All right, first thing first, double lord. Double lord after enchant, he do like 30 35 times multiply on the damage. However, it's a single target. Uh, for AOE, it's Sage Sagura or CG Sagura. She is, I believe, is number one as well. If you if you split it out to a single target and AOE, this two will be number one. So basically, yeah, I agree with this list. Uh, Fire Lord is just so simple to use, man. Just like go in, boom. And one thing, you don't have to build him MP because at first he used a lot of MP, right, guys? 150. Um, the thing is, he has 
osmosis or as per habit osmosis all right what is osmosis do i believe it's osmosis that you can drain mp from the bars so basically most bars you can drain MP from the bars and they have a lot of uh, MP region so basically you never run out of MP anyway so basically if you almost run out you drain MP from the bars and come back and then you can bam continue damage okay and with his massive damage I don't think you need like to drain a lot you can you know one shot or three shot the boss maximum if you if you build him right you can one or two shot the boss any boss in the game all right guys i believe if boss have 10 million damage a uh, hp i mean he probably destroy them in like five turn if you do do the right chain and stuff in pen emperor is same thing with drunk a lot but he need 10 turn to build up so that is not really really efficient way to do it however in seven star he can do double cast on that ability so basically if you have five turn and he have impen the damage is around 25 times multiply so i think <coughs> emperor is just really good at seven star i think he's more superior than double lord right so but six star yeah it's number three next is ram ram i believe he, she have a dragon boomerang right so that's why she in the top four and number five is lulu mm -hmm. i think five four and five should be lulu but we're saying here i agree with this but i don't have lulu so i will not comment more a lot on those all right so basically yeah this is all magic damage okay next is high bridge high bridge damage is really a tricky one basically the way high with bridge damage work is preschool and magic damage with this you most likely right they are the chainer okay so if we all know hybrid chainer we all know i love is fry as everybody know already i will not talk much she beat everyone okay with with this department basically you can build them as physical damage or chain uh, magic damage most boss that have like physical emo or magic emo they will destroy everything they are the best in slot for everything if you have the right tmr they eat a lot of tmr you know, in my opinion okay they need like full kenshura to have the best uh in slot for tmr all right so basically i agree with this five is number one we all know and i will not explain more uh, Kenshura is uh, really strong but not today guys 6 star is also number 2 I was 7 star I believe oh man I love it she got AOE chain like 20 hit um, Light Volitas right he can he, he, in my opinion he also the best uh, debuffer in the game as well for defense and spirit Jiraiya and the dog eh, I don't use them at all so I will not comment on those Jiraiya it look really cool though but damage multiply is so low and I believe this is all the best hybrid damage we got like I said because there is the best type in the game if they can do AOE like this too I think there is uh, number one in the game however the damage is falling though they do only half of these people damage okay so hybrid damage finisher is Tenshura of course and Light Volitas and Frywear so this three is the best hybrid damage in the game guys and um, I believe this one is the best for single and AOE is this two. All right. Yep. So I agree with those hybrids again. Next is healer. This is interesting, guys. <coughs> healer and summoner. The first place is Lotus Mage Fina. Next one is Ayaka. People have argued that who is the best of these two. In my opinion, I agree with him 100%. After I re look at it, Lotus Mage Fina have more utility than a Ayaka. She can do um, resistant buff as well. Ayaka cannot. MP regen, Ayaka cannot. Ayaka can do spot MP heal. They both can heal, they both can authorize. They are really, really good. Uh, they are they are tied, in, but in like I said many times, they are in different use. But if you want to put someone on top, yeah, I agree. Lotus Mage win. Okay, Ayaka, she, she have stop resistant, that's why she in the top, top number one, not many people can cruise stop and have resistant to stop in one collector and can heal and can stuff. Ayaka is top tier number one collector in the game guys, at 6 star. Next is Tillit, Tillit, oh man, I love Tillit, it <laughs> been a long time, I've seen her, seen, um, you know, my account gone and um, the secret of mana no no brave brave frontier didn't appear 
So I, I would like to see Silith Tillit going to the 7 star man She looks lovely And she's Gumi signature collector as well as Free Run I believe No Free Run? I forgot the name man The, the fire guy Yeah um, But I love Tillit more though she's, she's so cute and look at her man She's like dancing all the time And she have like she, she's like two years old already guys and she's that good guys she's that good okay next is Yuna and Nico they are good but they don't have auto revive so I believe that is their downfall except Yuna Yuna is good but she don't have Kuruja they are their fall like they, they mix up with someone you know that's why they fall down to number four and five with pure healer this three will win all right uh summoner for if you want to play a summoner build like he mentioned, his number one is Granite. I totally agree. agree. She's only four star. Four star, guys. If you haven't looked to Granite, feel free to go there and have a look at her awakening. She beat everyone here. She have one hundred percent, I believe, or eighty for summoner damage. This have these people have less. However, you need four of Seymour. With all this build, it's easy. All you need is four of Seymour to put it in their TMR slot so they are easy to build they do plenty of damage all right and they can use everyone as well so basically they are the same but with summoner damage this is number one echo number two Yuna number three radius number four i will believe skid radius coming this month and seymour is number five he will drop down right next is who is the best support in the game Alright, best support in the game is number one buffer is right. Handout is the best buff in the game with 124% in all status. Not just that, he buff MP, HP, and break enemy. He got everything in the books, but he is it's just like you need to do a combo on him, which some people don't like it, like like me. Okay. Next is Ramza, I agree. Next is uh, Noctis. People will think, oh why Noctis? Noctis limit burst keeps same buff as Roy guys but two turn okay you build him right you can do it every two turn number four is Sole Sole is um I feel you know for me it's the best buffer in the game this one have lockdown 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 this two doesn't have so I I use lock and lockdown is better if you see a lot of people video people use Sole so basically if you have new account or whatever account it is go for it man go for Sole. Okay, um, and Lunera is is really low tier buff. It's like eighty percent, but it's good enough. But what she do is better than them. Is they she have HP and MP healing more than the buff. So in my opinion, with all this, I have all of them. I will use Ramza. Why? He just like the most optimized person in all. He is easy to use. He can just one click done okay one click and done that's how lazy i am so i i agree with this list is correct but i like him the most ramza okay um because you 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 don't you have like six collector you click one and you only play with five so you are uh, you don't forget stuff to do okay so it's just simple simple but like i said everyone have their perception of use some people love mp region so they said Runeira is the best. Some people use Roy because they say, hey, I know the trick. Right. Some people say Noctis because I have super TMR. He can I can do this every two turns. So like I said, everyone have their perception of use. So it will be variance for me. Like I have super racing personality. So it's Bramsa man. <laughs> Next is the buffer. Okay. The buffer today. Alright, I forgot to mention this is update since um Safi Ross is 5, 13, 18. So if you come in late and say, hey, whoa, 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 this, this debuff is wrong. Yeah, because he didn't update it, guys. So basically, the debuffer, the way I look at it, he put this as um, attack and magic. Because at first, I don't understand why Knight Dalita is number one and Beatrix number one. They have 65%, um, 64 or something on magic and attack debuff this is uh, based on limit burst all right um this is based on attack and magic debuff okay so if you want defend and spirit debuff um i believe number one is cg lit number two is light wallet task all right um and your knight and 
the dark worldly task. Onion Knight is so strong, guys. But this is based on attack, okay? Attack and spirit. If you change the category to defense and spirit for more damage, on the damp the boss, those are the people you're looking for. Okay, I agree with all this because I double checked it before first time. I don't believe this two is the best. Double check it is yes, they are the best in attack and magic break in the game. He is all round better in my opinion because he can do break, he can chain, he can AOE chain, he can absorb dark damage and Kyla is just bad all round. I don't know why she's number five man. <laughs> Alright guys, and this is a debuffer. Okay, next is a tanker. Okay guys, tanker is bash. For the okay ranking for AOE 10, number one is bash. Of course, bash is the best. Why he can he have two physical and magic protection at six star. No one in the game until seven star can beat him. Alright? And in my opinion, magic cover is more superior than AOE Pisco cover, alright? Why? Because you, you can you can build him. My dream team, alright? What do I need? I need 10 Noctis. 10 Noctis. Okay, if, imagine if you have 10 Noctis. You go with AOE Magic cover. Everyone have Ling of Lucy. Five of them. They are perfect dodge. What boss can do? Boss cannot do anything. The boss do AOE damage, he absorb everything. He do physical damage, they just dodge everything. So basically, nothing boss can do. That's just like a, the immortal team, guys. You can kill anything. You kill Bash, he got auto revive. Alright? And then you come back. Alright? That's that's how it's work in this game. Alright, but you need 10 Noctis, which is like almost impossible to get now. Alright, next is a uh, Shao. Yeah. Same thing, you can see, yeah. AOE tank is magic user. Uh, number three is Mistine and Shed. Okay. Um, um, yeah, they are magic tanker. Next is Warrior Blight and Charlotte. Okay, I agree with this. At first, I thought Gradio should be here, but Gradio doesn't have break. Break is really important, guys. They, he have break, she have break, have break, break, break. She have full break as well. Gradio doesn't have it. I don't think Shao have it, but Shao overall, she. He can auto revive himself, which is really good. So basically, he don't die at all, and you don't even need a healer in the team because he can do that. All right. Next is a provoker tank. Of course, it's Wilhelm and a white knight to Noel. Look at him, man. He looks like a big Gundam. You know, he looks so powerful. I want him so much. All right. Okay. And the Wilhelm, we after enchant, he become the Warhelm. Okay. You can kill him. At 7 star, don't, don't even talk at 7 star, man. <laughs> he looks so good, alright? Looks so good. And it's like, he has a mustache that can protect everything from the damage. He never die, okay? These two never die, alright? Liquid Metal Slam is the most easiest collector to build. You only need two with TMA and you're done. And you same power, almost equally same as Wilhelm, man. But the thing is, you need limited edition of Shao. If you have two Shao, you have the best tank in the game. You don't, you go for Wilhelm, alright? Demon Lane is the best counter tank in the game. Look at him, man. He have like fire rainbow down below. He's so powerful, guys. I, I, I believe, for me, personally, he is the number one collector with the design of animation and uh, the look of it. Look at him. He have the demon horn, fire sword, fire on his feet. Man, if he can run and stuff, oh, look, imagine that, man. Burn everything on the floor. All right, but anyway, he have, nobody have, not many have him, but he's super good at counter tank and cat. Kagnazo, never use him, it's 4 star. But guys, the sit, <coughs> I think it's finished for player to win. This is our player to win list. Alright guys, and for free to play, you can come and check out later because there's a lot of them. And um, I believe because he have half a million, half million view, I believe everyone saw this list already guys. So I will not go into the deep detail on free to play stuff. Okay, so... Yeah, and um, enjoy your six star meta, guys. I think I think it's that's it for me. And tell me what you think about the the six star tier list of Mr. Mimi Lord right here, guys. So 
What do you think? If is it good or bad? In my opinion, like I said, I agree with him 99%. It's it's just like different of perception here. Just like uh, if he split into like AOE and Cinco, she will be here. And same thing, she will be here AOE and Cinco. And this one is a uh, split into different and attack break. There will be two different type of character. That's all. It, it's basically. The list he do is just so perfect guys, so easy to read, so simple to understand. So thank you Mimi Lord again. And I think I didn't forget anything. Alright? It's been like 25 minutes. Oh my god. Okay guys, anyway, I almost hit 3,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching and this is a final six star tier list for me. And like I said, um, you guys are the best for supporting me. I don't believe that I can get 3,000 again in my life for the subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe guys. And I will make the video better and better every day. And you guys have a good day and good time guys. And I will see you guys next time in Final Fantasy Breath x -rays. Bye bye. Insane and my heart will burst into flame